Uh, what's going to be cool about today is we're going to finally get to look at something I worked on for, uh, I guess it was last month we shot this thing. I'm not sure when we shot this thing. Last month. Um, working on the video up until the very last minute, finally got that thing out the door and it is now public. So I'm excited to show it to you, talk about what it is. And let's make sure everything else is ready here. Do, 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 do. Got a new blog post up. We are set. Yeah. Looking good this morning. Super. Let's make this nice and big so it's ready to share on the big screen. There we go. Make that real big. There we go. Cool. I should actually look at this page and see if it looks good. Oh, that looks perfect. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right. I'm stoked about that. We're looking good there. Alrighty, ooh, it is almost time to start. Look at that. Countdown, down to the final countdown. And we are good to go. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Photo Justice Photo Moment. It is Wednesday, the 21st of September in the year of the 20 and the 16. And today, I'm finally getting to show you guys the video that we were working on for so long down that we shot down in San Francisco. Uh, I guess it was last month, beginning of last month, something. I'm not even sure what the schedule was, but a little while ago. And uh, you may have seen some of the posts on social media, thanks to Ellen, who posted a bajillion pictures for us, which was absolutely awesome. Get some of those good behind the scenes going on. And um, I finally get to talk about the project, what it was. So this project was for another new Lumix camera called the Lumix LX10. And this is a, a more consumer camera. This is a point and shoot camera. It has a uh, you know, one-inch sensor, it's a pocket camera, it's got a built-in zoom, not interchangeable lens. And so for this video, I was directing and the DP. So I was basically shooting the director of photography, doing a lot of the shooting. We had someone else shooting as well. Um, we had our, our fixer on the ground. We had, of course, our, our actor, our character in the film, which was Rick Garrity, who's another one of the luminaries. And we, uh, let's see, we had Sean, who was the client, who was on set as well, who was also operating camera. We had our local fixer, and of course, Ellen, who was there with us uh, to, uh, to do all the social media. Oh, and then of course, Jason, who was the editor, but in this job, he came down with us early to be a DIT on set, so digital imaging tech, so he could wrangle all the media and just to have an extra pair of hands on there. So, uh, hey, if you're watching live, shout out, say hi in the comments. It's always fun to see that coming up. Um, so, yeah, we finally got this uh, video produced. It was uh, it was done a couple weeks ago, and then it kept going back and forth. You know how it is, little tiny little changes here and there. We got it ready to go, and the camera, the LX10, was just announced at Photokina earlier this uh, week, right? The very beginning of this week, it was just announced at Photokina. So that is now out in public, and the video is public, and so it's exciting that we can finally share this. So I happen to have a copy here, go figure. I'm going to uh, pop over to this and let's take a look at it. Here we go. I'm Rick Garrity, Lumix Luminary. I've been a photographer for over 35 years. Using the new Lumix LX10 has expanded my ability to walk around the streets with a tiny little camera and get great quality out of it. One inch sensor with a 1.4 Leica lens. While walking around the streets of San Francisco, I was having such a great time because this little camera it doesn't weigh anything at all. I put it in my pocket, I can travel anywhere with it, it's discreet. And the Tilt LCD screen allows me to shoot waist level so I get an entirely different view from everyone else. A new feature of this camera is in-camera focus stacking. Focus stacking allows me to create an image of impossible focus. Most compact cameras can't offer a 1.4 lens that gives me that incredible shallow depth of field. This camera includes post focus, which allows me to take a photograph and then choose my focus point later.
4K photo allows me to shoot 30 frames per second at over 8 megapixels per frame, which ensures me of capturing that unmissable moment. One of the things I like about the new Lumix camera is I can customize the front dial to use it for zoom, exposure compensation, or focus. Exposure compensation allows me to get my exposure just right, and the quality of the camera is amazing. I normally shoot wide open. I like being able to pick that particular spot to focus on. And for shooting in low light, the value of the 1.4 Leica lens on this camera is exceptional. With 4K photo, 4K video, and focus stacking, what other camera do you need? I'm Rick Garrity, and I'm a Lumix Luminary. So there you have it. That is the video that we created. Now that's one of two videos. Uh, the second one is a uh, sample video and it's all just the footage from the LX10 camera. So that one's on my website as well. I'm gonna point you to that in just a moment. Um, but just talk about the production a little bit. It was really, really cool. We had this uh, pretty small crew and very tight schedule, just a few days in San Francisco. Getting the permits secured for everything was, uh, was probably one of the biggest challenges. And there's a lot of things that we couldn't shoot that we wanted to just because we couldn't get the permits or there were too expensive. Did you know that if you wanna shoot commercially on the Golden Gate Bridge or around the Golden Gate Bridge on their property, with there's Golden Gate Park property, on the bridge, on their property, it is a $10,000 shooting permit. That's a lot of money. And given that that would have taken a pretty big portion of our budget, we didn't do that. Um, same thing on Fisherman's Wharf. You wanna shoot on Fisherman's Wharf, $10,000. Fortunately, we did have permits to shoot at street corners where you can see the Fisherman's Wharf sign. I um, actually don't remember if one of those shots made it in there, but we, we were able to get some of those things in the pictures, like the having the Golden Gate Bridge in a shot in the background, that's perfectly fine. And it's kind of hard to shoot in San Francisco and not get the Golden Gate. But uh, if you want to be on their property, 10 grand for a shoot permit. So yeah, interesting stuff. And getting those permits is not easy because you'd think, okay, I'm going to call the permit office. Sure, there's a permit office. There's about 20 permit offices. It just depends on where you want to shoot. You, know, you say, okay, um, I want to shoot here. And they say, okay, that's a different office. You know, some of them make sense. Like you say, I want to shoot on Treasure Island. Okay, Treasure Island has its own permit office. But, uh, you know, the Golden Gate's its own permit office. Coit Tower has a separate thing. It's like all these different things have all these different permit offices. It's kind of crazy. Uh, so it, it was quite the scramble getting those permits together, the ones that we did, and a lot that we couldn't get either because uh, it wasn't available. They just said there's some other production happening that time. And it's funny, you know, a city like San Francisco, there's always something going on. We saw other shoot crews much bigger than ours, but we saw shoot crews running around as well. Uh, and then there's simply just cost, you know, it's sometimes, and some of them didn't even write back like, yeah, we don't care. They don't want to reach out to you, but you know, it is what it is. You do what you can. We, we really avoid shooting rogue. I know this is one of those things that you'll, you'll hear a lot like, ah, oh, you, you don't need a permit. You can get away without it. Uh, but you know, I guess if you're shooting a small production, maybe you feel like you can get away with it. It's fine. But we're shooting for Panasonic. We really don't want the city of San Francisco to come back and say, so we saw this video you produced and, uh, we noticed that we didn't have a shoot permit on file for you ever. And yet here you are shooting on this place. Not only would it be the $10,000 fee, but probably some massive fine because you know, what are you gonna do? Deny that you were there? There's video evidence. So yeah, a lot of people say, just just shoot it, don't worry about it. But I don't uh, I don't buy that. That's not the way I like to do things. So, oh well, is what it is. Um, let's, let me show you something else. I put on my uh, website, I put up a blog post that went up this morning. So if you head to, get this up here. If you head to photojoseph.com, uh, right on the top there, you'll see on the front page is the blog, the landing page for the blog. And you'll see here it says uh, Panasonic Lumix LX10 San Francisco shoot. And in here, there's a little bit more info about the shoot, a little bit more uh, kind of the crew and what went into it. And there's the crew, there's us, happy campers. And both videos, so this one we just watched, and then the second one, if you want to see that, the sample video. This is produced at 100 megabit, so that's what the camera is shooting at, um, and so we, you know we had the camera set to shoot at, and so we see this thing in its maximum quality. And then this is kind of fun. <laughs> we did, so we sat down at the end of the video, at the end of the shoot, 
and uh, set up a, uh, you know, my photo moments thing that I've been, uh, the, the conversations, the photo justice conversations that I've been doing. Uh, we decided to do one of these with the crew. And it was a lot of fun getting everybody into a room. We crammed into one of the hotel rooms, lit it as best as we could with, we basically brought in lights from two different rooms, brought all the chairs from two different rooms. Um, you know, it's not the greatest sound in the world. We just had an on-camera boom mic, but um, shotgun mic, but it worked. And so we shot and it turned into a quite a long, it's 40 minutes long, admittedly it's long, but a discussion about the shoot, what we, our, our challenges, our favorite parts of it, what we were looking forward to, what we, you know, the fun that we had, um, all the while drinking some whiskey. So, you know, by the end, we're probably mostly wishing that we didn't shoot this video, but hey, we're releasing it anyway, because what the heck, you may as well. Uh, so check that out. So go to photojoseph.com. It'll be right on the top if you're watching this recently if you're watching this anywhere near today's date um, and if not then you just scroll down a little bit again the the post is called panasonic lumix lx10 san francisco shoot so you can um, pretty easily find that on there so that's the one that you are looking for all righty so that is that for today's photo moment um, a lot of fun went into this shoot i hope you guys enjoy it please watch the video check it out uh, even if you have no interest in the camera at all uh, it's just, it's still a fun video. It was fun to produce. And, um, you know, I'm hoping to do more of these, obviously. And this is like uh, like the GX85 video that I did in New Orleans, but in this time I wasn't in the video. So I was the shooter and the director, whereas last time I was the director and the, um, the character, whatever you want to call us. Um, anyway, good stuff, good fun. Hey, I don't know yet what I'm going to do for tomorrow's photo moment, but on Friday, I'm going to do a first week with the iPhone seven plus um, and iOS 10 because there's a lot of really cool things on here that uh, that I've really enjoyed and I just feel like uh, maybe it'd be fun to share some of that also talk some more about the camera on there obviously which is a pretty big deal but it's a pretty fun device I'm really enjoying it it is definitely I can say I'm not saying it because oh it's the new shiny but it is my favorite iPhone ever I mean I guess that should be obvious it's got more features and things than any iPhone before but it is a pretty awesome piece of hardware so uh, that's that I will figure out what I'm going to do tomorrow's photo moment and we'll post that up on the website uh, in just a little bit here. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.